Welcome to Black News. Sexing a dinosaur isn't easy. As far as gross skeletal anatomy is concerned, male and female dinosaurs are practically identical. And the shape of saurian bones provides no help. So far as anyone has been able to tell, the skeletons of dinosaurs were not sexually dimorphic, or, in other words, different between males and females. Even in highly ornamented species of horned dinosaurs, armored dinosaurs, and others, all the gnarly spikes and plates and crests don't show a definitive split in form that can be taken as a marker of different sexes. But the evolutionary architecture of bones isn't everything. A pair of surprises provided opportunities for paleontologists to identify some female dinosaurs, at least. In 2005 paleontologists Tamaki Sato and Quathers reported on a fossil of a parrot-like a viraptorosaur that had been preserved with a pair of eggs nestled between her hip bones. This dinosaur was definitely a female. Better yet, just a few months later molecular biologist Mary Schweitzer and her colleagues reported on another way female dinosaurs could be identified through their pregnancies. A thigh bone of a Tyrannosaurus rex more 1,125 or B. rex to fossil fans, had a special tissue inside the main cavity called medullary bone. The same type of bone is seen in living birds, and is laid down when estrogen skyrockets following ovulation. In short, if you see medullary bone, you've found a pregnant female. Not everyone agreed with this interpretation. Other experts suggested that the messy, rapidly deposited bone tissue inside the T-Rex was from a disease and that similar types of bone found in the jaws of male and juvenile pterosaurs, the flying relatives of dinosaurs, meant that medullary bone can't be taken as a reliable indicator of a dinosaur's sex. But Schweitzer and a multidisciplinary team of experts have now answered these criticisms with a new study of the original T-Rex clue. What did they find? that more 1,125 truly was pregnant when she died. Schweitzer and her colleagues approached the bone tissue from multiple avenues, re-examining the structure of the tissue with CT scans but also looking at its chemical composition. This is the key in teasing out tricky tissues, the researchers write, because medullary bone is chemically different from other bone types. That's because true medullary bone contains a higher proportion of mineral content and biomolecules called glycomonoglycans than the surrounding tissue. So when the researchers used a stain to reveal the presence of biomolecules known to be abundant in medullary bone, the reaction fit with what they had suspected, the stain literally highlighted the fact that more 1125 had a femur infilled with the mineral-rich tissue.